이제는 내가 직접 나서야 할 때가 되는 것 같구나. 형제들, 거울 높이 들어. 첫 번째 자수에게 더 이상 패배는 존재하지 않을 거야. 이때에 영광의 전투가 펼쳐지리라. 아프리카 TV, Prigo Studio Live, 2020 GSA Season 3, Cordis, Last Stand. We are back. What's up, everybody? GSL 3, Season C, Season 3. Season C. I'm not warmed up yet. I'm not ready for Season 3. Uh, it's good to be back here. Uh, it's been an amazing year of StarCraft so far and a terrible year for the world uh, in 2020, but we're still going strong. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Season 3 is upon us now. Uh, I was just thinking, watching that intro, about just how cool GSL is and if any of you deserve to even be able to watch such a cool thing. It's a good point. It's up in the air, but you get to watch it either way, so congratulations to you guys. Uh, this... I mean, last season, I think, was really exciting. It was really cool until the end of the tournament where everything was one-sided so and had to, silly. <laughs> we had to have, no matter how, you know, tournaments go, one of them has to be the worst finals, right? We got it out of the way. I don't think we can top that as far as... Uh, it's funny because, yeah. Disappointment goes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was, it was pretty high up on disappointment. Even if all of the uh, finals we had were amazing, one of them would be the worst. Yeah, there's always something. There's bad. always something that so. It's a great I way feel to like spin we, it. We got it out of the way. That's my way. spin here. Yeah, and is that it was. Yeah, I mean it was, it was disappointing as far as results go. Uh, the games, I think, the order in which the games went was also, uh, getting worse and worse. Yeah, it was uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I mean obviously congratulations to our champion. Um, Rogue is amazing, but you know, look, I, I I think it's okay to be optimistic for the season. Sure. Most of that season was actually really good too. Mm -hmm. We were really leading up to what looked like yeah. it was going to be maybe the hypest finals ever. Well, that being said, here's a little bit of our schedule, guys. So uh, something to note is that on the fourth of September, that is uh, normally our Saturday cast would be that the day after that, right? But basically the day before. So for you guys, a lot of you watching, instead of like. Um, you know, I guess for North America, it's North, North American time at, at 1 p.m. Saturday cast, like right now. That's being moved to Friday at 5 p.m., and that's because that's actually our 10-year anniversary that day. Remember where I was 10 years ago on the 4th. That's right. You've uh, got to celebrate. we got to go on a romantic cruise together, Artosis. Yeah, yeah. Um, is our love still there? Do we have to spice it up? As long as no one else is on the boat, Tasteless. Will you finally indulge my weird kink? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Your weird kink, yeah, having yeah. a Protoss win GSL. Can we please? That's actually, I share that <laughs> kink right now. I was hoping we could cast this tournament with ball gags in our mouth, but I guess <laughs> not. Um, so, here is the racial distribution. We've got uh, 11 Terrans, 10 Protoss, and 7 Zergs. Don't let that fool you, though. Probably we're going to see. A Zerg will probably win this <laughs> tournament. <laughs> yeah, you don't need many. You just need quality. Uh, yeah, this is, it's a very exciting season for a lot of reasons. Uh, first off, we have a complete first timer in Spear making Codes. He's been Code before, but never to Codes. We also have Byun playing. Byun is back, as he did tweet, the greatest tweet I've ever seen in my whole entire so life. So sick, so uh, exciting. Yeah, and it, he got hilarious first match in his group because he comes in unranked, right? So he's bottom seed and he plays party. Yeah, that's going to be so fun. Out of all the two players we could have put yeah. together in kind of a dream scenario, it's cool that this one's going to be a reality. It's, it's the best Terran micro ever against the best Protoss micro ever. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'll watch that. That's a good group right there. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is going to be a fun season. There's no doubt. You look at these groups, there's been some crazy results going on. Uh, obviously, we see Zaun is here. We have... Uh, Nightmare is back after a long time not being here. He's the first guy to make Blink DTs in GSL. Uh, I think even maybe professional play in general. Uh, Tej is in good form again. Defeated Dark to qualify. Uh, yeah, it's it's sick, man. This is going to be a great, 
preseason. Yeah, the overall makeup here for um, our tournament, it's, it's a great mix of the old and the new, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, here is our first group, Group A. Uh, this is a really stacked group and Spear. So Spear is the guy you see in the top right. Again, in back in like 2013, maybe, he was in Code A like once to twice. Uh, and that was it. He's never made it to Code S, but here he is. He's lower MMR than everyone else. He's yeah. uh, not really got the experience. So this is going to be a hard one. Uh, he's going up against Trap, who right now is definitely one of the best Protosses in the world. Has yeah. been for quite some time. And in fact, has the highest ladder MMR in career right now. He's right around 7K. Yeah, this is um, this is one where like Trap is just supposed to win. He is supposed to win. This smash. is kind of like, you know, when you start out... Uh, a, you know, a movie you've never seen before, and it's the most famous actor in the world, and another guy, and you're like, "Oh, that other guy's gonna die pretty quickly here. He's not a, yeah, he's not a lead. This is a, what do they call that in Star Trek? I've used this reference before, but now it is. It's a guy me. that that carries the phase rifle. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know what they call it. An it's ensign. The, it's like if there's six main characters, and then that other guy as they go on the plane. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, he's gonna he's gonna get killed by the aliens. Yeah. So, All right. Twenty. The year is 2020, and dubstep is being played here. May That's a well. perfect 10-year anniversary. <laughs> so, For uh, these seven months where everything was dubstep and then it went away. Yeah. You know, I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Bow. 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 Drop the beat. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I'm kind of excited to see how Spear does. I hope he brought some crazy all-ins. I hope he doesn't try to do anything normal, because uh, if he does, Trap will eat him. It will not even be close, right? I think, uh, well, I'm just going to say what I'm thinking, Artosis. Look, that, that base mask he's wearing, that's the least comfortable one that they're selling out here in Korea. That's the one I never buy at the yeah. convenience store. Is that right? It doesn't fit on my big face. No, I guess not. My Your big bird nose all? doesn't. Yeah, my beard. Uh, the beard is, I actually, I'm going to go get it trimmed today. Yeah? It's my, when I talk, my chin pops out of the bottom of my face mask. Oh, wow. And the coronavirus goes right in my mouth. <laughs> 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 All right, game one, season three started. Let's do this. That was cool. I like that graphic. <laughs> I dig that, it. That graphic looked it looked like uh, when like zealots warp in, which would be one way to get a Protoss to finally win GSL. <laughs> <laughs> if you just warp in a group of zealots for them at their nexus yeah. as we intro them, and then people figure out well, the only depends. way to force the intro to get skipped is to proxy immediately, so everyone just has to send workers out of their base <laughs> in the beginning. The question is, if, if that's how we uh, decide that StarCraft 2 is going to go, what if there's a Zerg playing, though? Do they still win? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. No, that's a good question. Yeah. If they went Baneling uh, first, then they'd probably still take it. All right. So uh, Spear immediately stopping any scouting from going on. This was a pretty quick scout from Trap, but uh, Spear had started that secondary depot. So not going to get scouted. Uh, we'll see. I mean, what he does here, it should be a... We talk about this a lot, right? Like, this should be a factory behind, but you can do a lot of things when you when you wall off and don't let the probe scout you. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, gives you a lot more options. So with the probe being sent out there and, and not getting that information, it's not nothing, but, you know, it, it would be much better if you could actually get in there and get some confirmation as to what's going on. Yeah. Uh, reactor going up, but we don't see really anything else. Spear is not mining more gas, so it looks like it'll probably just be into a command center. Yeah, there it is. And it's in his main base, so he's put it in such a location that you can't see it, even if you get a unit yeah. up at the top of the ramp. And so obviously this is a little bit less efficient, um, but you know the fact that the Protoss is having to play a guessing game here um, and really doesn't know what's coming, you know, maybe yeah. afraid of some kind of a cheese or a drop or something weird. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see if this actually benefits Spear. The problem is that I mean, Trap is pretty robust in the way that he plays the game. He's pretty efficient. He usually yeah. doesn't get just caught off guard. And the fact that this is going to go into a, a double macro game actually here. Like yeah, we have, a we have double two. macro game. Yeah, it's like the first that. time and the last time I'll use that <laughs> uh, phrase. No, two command centers here. 
So, uh, really greedy play here from Spear. Yeah. Now, I, I want to see if this goes unpunished. It's also possible Protoss identifies this and just matches it in Nexus's. Oh, that's exactly what we'll see. Like, when you go Oracle and you scout two command centers this quick, a third Nexus is generally the way that you are going to go with that. But uh, what we should be seeing here from Spear is he should be lining up a very strong mid-game attack. He should try to make his, uh, his production kind of explode and just nail something uh, in that little window where the third base is getting online for Protoss. We'll see if he's able to do such a thing. Okay, no uh, no real information given there with that scout. That Oracle's about to pop out here. We'll have to watch and see uh, where the Marines are placed. You know, once the Oracle gets there, it, a lot of Oracle uh, defense is about positioning ahead of time. If you don't have the armies in the right spot, you're probably gonna get shredded. Yeah, hopefully he blocks this Oracle. Is he gonna pocket the first Oracle? I don't see it on the mini map. No, it's coming. It's oh, coming. I'm sorry, it's right in the bottom. No, no. Oh. Yeah, where is the Oracle? Is it much as Yeah, he is waiting? pocketing it, okay. I guess. Yeah, there it is. It's kind of funny to to go up to two. Like I guess if you're flying into a mine or something, maybe that's best, or maybe he's uh he's sitting back defensively with it. That's it, of course. Uh because he doesn't actually know what's going on, right? Yeah, he might be thinking there's gonna be and that kind of aliens coming in to his main or something. Yeah, something back. could have come. So he was ready for it. So um again though, keep in mind he hasn't confirmed what's happening here. You know, so uh, let's watch and see. The Oracles will both be uh, attacking the SCVs, but uh, I think equally important, they'll be getting to scout here as well and seeing the, the third CC there. He finally gets to know what's actually going on. Oh, weird. Takes out two uh, SCVs so far. Let's see what's actually in the natural. There's some Marines here to zone it out. Wow. Can you actually get this? No, I don't think so. <laughs> he even tried to help him. He moved the tank over to the right. Yeah, but... he pushed it forward. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny, but whatever. Uh, yeah, they, not that much damage really done at the end of the day, especially against three command centers. You don't really care. You lose two SCVs, it's not a big deal. Uh, now, Trap has gone up to that third Nexus. He's getting his Forge. He's getting his Twilight. And, yeah, I mean, it's kind of exactly what you would expect right here. Okay, the Oracles are going to come in here and do another dive. Or not, actually. They're going to back up, excuse me. Uh, we are eventually going to get into a macro game. We should note that the Nexus is uh, actually going to finish here before this command center can land. So even though there was greedy play here by Spear, it doesn't seem like this is going to be outpacing the uh, Protoss at all. No, it's true. It's 55 workers to 43 right now. Look at that. Oh, man. He's, that sucks. That's incredibly annoying. Uh, but I think that there is actually a small window coming up where this could be good for Spear. Uh, even though, like, Trap looks like he's getting into a decent position, look what he has going on, right? He hasn't gone into any sort of Robotech, so he's staying on Gateway, and he's going into Charge and plus one armor. Yeah, Whereas we have Medivacs finishing and Stim finishing. Uh, we may end up seeing a dive in here from Trap as this third base gets set up. Ah, finish what you started. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh, man. That's annoying. Yeah, this is... Can he? No. <laughs> well, well, tasteless. Get the other one. I think you can get the second add-on. Go for it. See a little bit. Well, we're the seeing difference one between the players. One of these players is not like the other. They're both not like the other because there's only two. I'm in in our group of four. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, that's true as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it's just this is kind of a game where one player is just considerably better than the other. Well, it's Where realistically, Spear is probably the weakest player. Yes. And Trap is, eh, I, I don't know exactly where to rank him, but like I said, he's like number one on the ladder right now. He's like stats got to the finals last season, not Trap, but Trap is like right up there, you know? Definitely one of the best players in the world. Yeah, it's one of the games where I think the strategies and the build orders are not really reflective of how the game's supposed to be looking. Mm. You know, it's kind of like Trap is just getting ahead in so many levels because he's so much quicker and yeah. kind of has a deeper understanding of the game. Look at the workers here, 70 to 52. Wow. It's Again, a that's gigantic difference. A triple CC opening, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, the entire uh, purpose of that strategy is to exceed 
your opponent and workers. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty brutal. Trap is uh, finishing up his fourth base over here. And I think Trap has approached this game in a completely reasonable, cautious setting. Yeah. Where a lot of times if you're if you know you're better and not like you're cocky or anything, like you're actually you can look at the player's skill and rank yeah, and say, yeah, Oh, yeah. I I basically I I should be able to win this on every metric. Conservative play is the best way to go. You don't need to do any Harlem Globetrotter stuffs. Yeah, like um it's kind of funny because that's always been the mentality of us non Korean people. But remember, like uh, a lot of the time back Back in the day, it's like as soon as a new player would come in, they would just do an early attack against him a lot of the time. Do you remember this? Especially I if do. it was a non-Korean, they'd be like, they just like, oh, how's your multitasking micro? Let's see. You yeah. Know? They'd be like, have at you. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't need to do that. Okay, this is a good catch here. I think he gets that, right? Yeah. Or not. No. Five health. Seems appropriate. Well, the thing is, Spear hasn't taken any sort of massive damage or anything, right? So yeah, uh, they're going to be on 1-1 one, one upgrades each. Uh, I mean, I think Spear can just basically keep his supply similar. So this might just come down to a, a nice engagement, right? Maybe. Yeah, let's see Let's see how this goes. Uh, oh. Pulling the boys. I think it's appropriate. Right. There's, I mean, there's Storm out already, but no Colossi. Okay, uh, the attack's coming in here. Let's see how this is handled. This is actually not a great angle. Yeah, let's for see Protoss. if these ghosts can actually hit. Watch this, watch this. Oh my god. He's actually ah. dropping the ghosts out. And he gets the high Templars with at least one EMP, but there's still three oh, storms there. Oh my god, that oh storm. Boy. Oh boy. So much damage. Yeah. Again, though, I, you know. Hey. Actually, okay, you know, even though Spear's kind of all over the place, like there's SCVs attacking a Nexus that's warping in. Yeah. Uh, this might actually work. Hold on. Oh, Great that's a storm. Good storm. We need maybe two or three more good storms here, and I think this is hell. Yeah, I think he has one more storm left in him. So the SCVs are supposed to be soaking damage. Yeah, they're supposed to be with the armor, not attacking a Nexus. Yeah. They did take the shields off that Nexus, though, so You can see it's all on one hockey as the SCVs are kiting and then attacking the Zealot. Yes. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's what I call StarCraft. Yeah. Well, welcome to the round of 24. Yes. Uh, one of our most accomplished, best Protosses in the world going up against. So this is first time G GSL Codes. This series might be like the beginning of a horror movie where the someone's killed by the bad guy. Right yeah. now, Spear is hanging from a hook in a cabin right now. <laughs> and now we know, ooh, the killer is scary. Mm. Who's going to make it? How will these teenagers on a camp out do? And then you find out that everyone else in the movie is the bad guy, and yeah. Spear never stood a chance. That's right. It's literally just a bunch of crazy looking killers. It's yeah. <laughs> monsters wearing each other's faces and <laughs> someone with a pig head and yeah, <laughs> chainsaws and hooks. and. Damn, man, I can tell you've seen movies like I that before. Saw, I can get through scary movies, Artosis. Uh, game two on Everdream has loaded up. Let's go. <laughs> Team NB, Spear, Kim I feel like those SCVs should be taking damage from that blue light. <laughs> it's like one of those Diablo auras. <laughs> All the SCVs gain a little bit of mana as they <laughs> sit in that aura. <laughs> oh, what would that even affect? I it's don't like know. feedback kills SCVs now. I don't know. <laughs> the question is, what spells do SCVs even get? You know? Yeah. yeah. Oh my. So uh, this time we had a, a probe scout that did manage to get inside the base. Yeah, he's not going to try to trick him this time. Yeah, and we're, I, we're certainly not going to see triple command center. I wouldn't think so. That didn't work out so well. I really feel like he should be doing like very sharp all-ins because those are going to give you the best chance, right? You can do all-ins that are like really hard even for top Protosses to hold sometimes. Yeah. 
Well, the thing about really top tier players is in late game, they, they are, I think of them like athletes or power lifters or, you know, it's like, it's hard to go toe to toe with a really good pro gamer in a macro game. Yeah. I think your odds are just better if you try to cheese them out. Well, the more, uh, the more time that their mechanics and decision making can kick in, the better for them. So I think that's why going for those longer games is just ridiculously hard. Uh, you know, whereas in the early game, it's like, oh, did you make a wrong decision? Well, I have a stupid looking cyclone push that's attacking yeah. you right now <laughs> or <laughs> something like that. You know, like, yeah, just a, like remember what Tasia did that one day where he did the same like all in three times in a row. First yeah. it worked, then it almost worked, then it totally failed. Yeah, then I realized I was in the movie Groundhog's Day. Like yeah. The Groundhog's Day cast. Well, that was funny seeing it from Tasia because we saw how strong he was in some other matchups. Whereas that type of play, I want to see out of Spear. That's what I want to see, you know? Sure, yeah. It's like, give me that Spear. Just have like a crazy all-in you practice that like 20% of the time you're going to be trapped with because I think that's higher than going into the macro game, to be honest. All right, we've got a probe combing the northern part of the map. I think he just wants to make sure. There's a lot of times we'll see someone hide a building up here. So he just wants to go up there and make sure. I think especially after the way that game one went, if I was trapped, I would be suspecting some kind of surprise play. Yeah, you would think. Uh, well, this is a quick concussive shells. Now, that, like, I, I think he'll get aggressive with it. But it can be nice, too, because sometimes they'll come in with, like, um, well, this probe actually coming up. Wow, look at this. Kind of funny. Uh, but, yeah, sometimes they, they will come up with like a, an adept or something right and you'll be able to catch it or a stalker or whatever and now he brings back the marauders as well and now he knows what's going on i almost feel like you want a void ray here i want to see it phoenixes are cute well i would do anything to see a void ray man well you're gonna see some this season yeah. taste so that i'm new looking patch forward to it is uh well it's it's hilarious to watch it's like some funny results are popping up in online tournaments right yeah. now where like a Protoss you didn't expect got further than you'd expect and then yeah. it's like how many Void Rays were involved here? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. What, what type of all-in do we have right now? Alright, well it's going to be Phoenixes against stuff that doesn't shoot up uh, but it comes down more to lift energy than anything. And so he should have two lifts right now. A third lift as this one pops out. Okay. Fourth lift actually should be just about ready, I guess, on that other Phoenix, right? Okay, so this is pretty unfortunate because there's not enough anti-air here to actually do much against this, and there's enough Phoenixes that you can't really turn around. Oh, he's just already yeah, completely and so smashed. It's not even close. The thing is, as you retreat, I thought he might even commit there, but yeah, as you retreat, I mean, these Phoenixes basically get to pick off each of these units. The Stalkers are great at pursuing as well, so, I mean, this just sucks for Terran. Oh, I think yeah. we are going to be... I think we're in the twilight of this game, Artosis. Well, he's already lost everything he made for an yeah. early push. <laughs> yeah. And he literally, like, he took shields off of a stalker, I believe, is the damage he got yeah. done. But yeah, he just, he just took some shields off that Nexus and as well. This is a situation where the game will actually seesaw so heavily it can result in a loss yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have SCVs being pulled. He did not actually close oh, the ramp, uh, lock man. off the ramp. This sucks, man. All right, well. Spear in the era of 2020, not the weapon you want to use. <laughs> this is not. No, certainly not. My God. Uh, stim is done. Will this one Marauder Stim? I think this attack could have been handled a little bit better here by Trap, but I don't want to get too nitpicky. Well, yeah, at this point, I don't. It doesn't like, really matter. Trap is up so much. Like, you can't even stop the Phoenix harassment. Yeah. You know? No, the one turret is not going to be enough to, to make these Phoenixes go home. And yeah, the Phoenixes can occupy the area uh, at the ramp and basically cut off circulation. Yeah. Well, the game continues onwards. Okay, Adept's coming across the map. Trap might be able to finish with those. Uh, just not a lot going on for Spear. Okay. Um, I don't know what Spear really does to to overcome this. I think there's going to be another attack here inbound. Um, I Here we go. That's funny. He's shading away here. So he'll get a few SCV kills and then probably mm. pop back out like we just saw. Yeah. I mean, Stim is done. He has Medivacs. He's going to get Combat Shield. Uh, 
started his third command. But the thing that I'm looking at right now here, right, is Trap's gates are about to finish. And look at these supplies. He's up 50% more workers, 50% more bases, and he has a bigger army supply. Normally, it's like, okay, yeah, Protoss has more probes. Okay, we're used to that. Oh, the third base is quicker. Okay, we're used to that. But right. at least at this portion of the game, generally, oh, man. Terran will get ahead on army supply, right? And be able to at least put pressure on. But here, not even ahead on army supply, right? This yeah. is like the ultimate oh, gosh. so far behind. Oh, this sucks. Okay, one medevac goes down. This game was rough. Um, I guess we're not out of it yet, but this is... I mean, I just don't know how Terran can overcome well, anything. I'm even this surprised. Is, this is really what we're watching is the ultimate mismatch. Right, like, yeah. Like, Spear should have swiped left when he got this group. Yeah, no kidding. This is... Uh, the round of 24 is not made equally. You know, I mean, even no. though we have the 24 best players in the world, basically, uh, or at least the ones that can be here in Korea, I should say. Mm. Um, there is yeah, a huge skill The 23 difference. best Koreans in Wan. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what we have. But um, look, I mean, it's it's not always evenly matched. Even in the round of four, we've had completely lopsided games. This is what makes StarCraft good, though, is you can be so much better than somebody. Yeah, yeah, this is part of the beauty of the game. I got a this question. isn't Mario Kart, where suddenly now yeah. Spear gets a blue shell yeah, and he's he back in it. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that. He shoots a turtle shell out, and <laughs> yeah. suddenly the person in the front is now in the back because <laughs> yeah. nothing means anything, and why are we playing this anyways? Yeah. Did you uh, hear that there's uh, some people calling for no more uh, complex inputs in fighting games, Artosis? No more complex inputs? Like, like you know, like a quarter circle forward. Yeah. Punch. There's well, people that just want it to be made easier. Who? Garbage people, but. Garbage people. Yeah. Yeah, that's people that, that would like, be the type of people that would. This want is that. A, a weird movement that's happening where people that are absolute trash at games are like, I could be the best if I didn't have to learn how to do anything. Yeah, I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, no, that that type of thing, what scares me too, and what is truly sad about the human race is that some game company will now do that. Yeah, and then They're like, oh, we fixed it, guys. Now you don't here, have to hit all these buttons. Here will be the funny thing, right? How popular will get that get? How many? Skillless idiots are going to buy that game, yeah, and then play it, and then suddenly you see the pro Street Fighter players and stuff. They're like, "Oh God, I gotta go yeah. try to win this money now." I need they to make have to money play it. somehow, man. <laughs> okay, little victory here for Spear. Spear's going to do a dive into the main. It looks like mm -hmm. I don't know what's in here. Okay, there's a warping. He's got to be careful. These stalkers are. Yeah, all right, beat me to it. He's going to be able to shoot down that medevac. Yeah. Overcharges that battery right there, so that'll buy him a bit of time. Can go ahead and just crush this push easily. Uh, the one in the oh, main man. base looks like it's uh, still around a little bit. No, it's getting out of there now. Yeah, it's uh, it's over twice the army supply here for for trap over spear. It's got some siege tanks, so part of a wall here. I guess trap will pull back. Oh, sick. Here we go. Big attack over the natural. I don't see anything here to defend. That missile turret. Yeah. <laughs> you got to turn it upside down, and then it can shoot the zealots. <laughs> OK, oh uh, this, I think, is going to be a fatal blow here. The yeah. Immortals will be able to gun down the tanks with ease. Uh, no more third base. The zealots shredding up the natural. GG trap. Easy peasy. Yeah, no, that was. Uh that was pretty one-sided. The uh, thing is, I think this group is unbelievably stacked. I think it doesn't matter what group Spear got this season. He probably wasn't going to go on the next round. I but agree. Like, I agree. This group in particular is really strong with Trap, uh, Solar, and Special. Those are all around a 16 guys, yeah. you know, or even higher, really. Trap is really a round of eight, round of four guy. Right. So, uh, this is it's a, t it's a tough one for poor Spear on his first GSL Codes outing. We'll see if he does better in that loser match. Maybe this is his tough matchup, you know? Maybe he, he fares better against Zerg or Terran. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, we're going to go to a short break. When we come back, I think a much more exciting match will be next. Special versus Solar. Don't go away.